gentlemen. We're not merely concerned here today with a dispute over territorial borders or the revendications of a defeated king. We are called upon to defend Africa. It is, I believe, our sovereign duty, Mark, to safeguard the well-being of those of our countrymen who have settled in these distant lands. It's the crawl and his greatest weapon, next to Bible hawkers and guards. It's all part of the Crown's unofficial policy when extending its boundaries amongst the so-called natives. First, it sends in Bible hawkers to delude their simple hearts, and then rum seller captures their stomachs, and then finally the armies take rightful possession. Beg pardon, sir. What is it, Captain? News from the north, sir. Shaka. I regret to inform your lordship that it has reached my attention that the threat of Shaka Zulu may soon be directed at the white settlers residing in the Crown's territories. I have received a most alarming missive from Lord Somerset of the Cape. Concerns the Zulus, sir. The Zulus? Are you implying that the colonial office of the British Empire considers a tribe of savages running around in their birthday suits a problem? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, what ineffable bottle, what ineffable. It is somewhat more than a tribe, sir. We are convinced that we are grips with a proper empire of a quarter of a million such birthday suits. Extending his influence over most of Southeast Africa. An empire compatible in extension and might to that of Napoleon. We cannot soothe the savage beast. We can at least confuse him whilst we mount an effective military defense. I may know the very man that you need, Worthy. Some eccentric who calls himself Farewell. Oh, what is it, Colonel? News from the north, sir. Shot. What's that damn savage up to now? There is every reason to believe that the Zulus are now fighting right on the frontier. 60,000 ferocious Zulu warriors. There'd be nothing standing between this colony and 60,000 warriors. Believe me, sir, I've seen them in action. That has the distinct flavor of a threat. A bomb? My ultimate purpose will be to contact Shaka Zulu in order to secure an alliance with His Majesty King George. And the army is assembled by the next full moon. Now hear me out before you start tipping the scales of war. We have spirit and spit fire you have received yourself. Bang, bang. Also, I have magic powder that could produce lightning and hollow logic. You will have Cape Town all abuzz with anticipation of what your little circus can do. And what does he want? Oh, the Zulango man. There'll be but one reality war. I hereby solemnly declare that henceforth his baby named Port Natal 
and the surrounding area to be British territory. A man without scruples could very easily become a guard in this country, couldn't he? And so it will be with the white man. When they realize my capability to destroy their people at the moment's notice, then I'll discuss friendship. And what do our colonies represent uh, for us? Sunshine, sir. Precisely. And where is he? He's back there.